Acetone, one of the world's most popular solvents. Polystyrene, one of the world's most popular plastics. What happens when they go toe to toe? Find out tonight. Acetone is a common solvent. Polystyrene is easily dissolved. We want to see how much and how fast we can dissolve this stuff in acetone. Guys, in the past, you watched us melt a Millennium Falcon, which contaminated a lot of acetone. We still have a lot of acetone left. Like a lot of acetone left. Here's the basic idea. We've got lots of polystyrene, we've got lots of acetone. We're gonna see how much of the polystyrene can dissolve into that acetone and then try out some creative ways of combining the two. Guys, acetone is a very popular solvent, and in fact, it's a very popular nail polish remover when it's diluted. So you've probably seen how effective it is when it takes off nail polish or even paint. We wanna show you what it does when it melts down different types of polystyrene. Usually, you refer to it as styrofoam. Technically, styrofoam is a brand name of one type of extruded polystyrene. That's a closed cell type of foam. It's used for insulation, building materials, and a few other things like that. It's become a pretty common term to describe any extruded or expanded polystyrene. These things happen. Regardless of what it's called, we're gonna melt some of it. If you have ever used nail polish remover before or even been around someone who's used nail polish remover before, you probably recognize the scent of acetone. It's almost sweet, but you can tell that there's definitely a chemical there. And if you get a lot of it, it's gonna burn your sinuses and your nostrils quite a bit, so be careful. You only wanna be using this stuff somewhere with good ventilation. So let's actually talk about some of the safety precautions you wanna take if you're handling just straight acetone. Technically, your body produces acetone in minute quantities. We're talking about if a couple of drops somehow accidentally ended up in your mouth, it would be uncomfortable, but it wouldn't kill you. If you do accidentally swallow any, Call poison control. I bet it says that on the it, it says that on the container. Basically, one entire side of this canister is just a warning. If it gets on your skin, in most cases, it'll just dry it out and it can cause some irritation and it'll make it extremely cold. That's not because acetone itself is extremely cold, that's the evaporation rate. The faster something evaporates, the colder your skin is gonna get if it's in contact with it. If I dip my finger in there, it cools it off because it evaporates so quickly. It's even cooler than water. Now, if it hits your eyes, you can have severe irritation. Again, call poison control. But skin, nails, it's gonna dry them out. But other than that, there's not gonna be a lot of harm done. So we're standing in a well-ventilated area. We're pretty covered just as a precaution. We're wearing nitrile gloves, and nitrile actually is susceptible to acetone's melting effects. So if he were to leave his glove in there, as you probably have seen in our Lego video, they would just fall apart. So short amount of time, you're fine, but not for too long. Something else to look at, we were talking about how it evaporates quickly. You can watch how fast this evaporates, and it's gone. That's actually really cool to watch. We've got a little bit of this expanded polystyrene, and let's use this as a first test. We're just gonna dip this in for a second and see what it does to the ends. You can already hear it hissing and falling apart. So that was dipped in there for like half a second, and just immediately starts ruining it. Dipping it at a bit of an angle so you can see more clearly where it has and has not touched. Enough of it was in the acetone that time that actually dripped down in, and now we have this gooey polystyrene liquid. That's what's left. That whole brick that I had has now just been dissolved into this liquid white goop. You can actually see that underneath the melted plastic, Nate's gloves are also falling apart. It just like loses its cohesion and is starting to like expand a little bit. Whereas on this hand, the gloves are fairly tight fitting. On this hand, everywhere that I've been putting in the acetone, it's, it's just loose and hanging off now. All right, that was awesome, but I think we need to scale that up a little bit. Normally acetone is extremely clear, 
This is acetone that we did use to dissolve Lego in, and it didn't get completely cloudy or destroyed, but I think it's not quite as clear as new acetone would be. Now this isn't our most contaminated batch, but it is contaminated. That's true. Again, if you saw the Lego video where we melted the Millennium Falcon in acetone, the first time we tried it, we had some off-brand Lego sheets with some different formula of plastic, and it just turned it like light blue. And as far as I can tell, it's still like that. It hasn't changed a bit. What's next? We should melt more stuff. So as we scale this up, we're gonna start dyeing some of our acetone different colors. This one's gonna be green, mostly because this is really reminding me of the dip from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. He's never seen it. Sorry. Wish this was shoe shaped. He doesn't understand that reference. But neither do a lot of you, ha. <laughs> oh. I know a bunch of you weren't even born when that movie came out. I'm gonna melt some stuff now. It really does look like it's dissolving in acid. That's pretty great. Well, now I just feel sad, but not enough to stop. I can actually watch it just as he's pushing it down, just it feeding up. We've now put some polystyrene into the acetone. I'm curious what happens if we apply the acetone to the polystyrene. We've got a couple methods we want to try. Coming up is the spray bottle. Polystyrene, we're using expanded and extruded polystyrene. There is also non-extruded polystyrene. And that's usually in the form of a thin plastic, many plastic cups. If you have a white plastic cup, there's a good chance that that is polystyrene. You'll be able to tell by looking on the bottom and if inside a little triangle about recycling, it says PS, that's for polystyrene. Don't put acetone in one of those cups, you'll dissolve it. This is HPDE, it does not dissolve in acetone. Spray bottle full of purple acetone and some white expanded polystyrene. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> you can definitely see the spray pattern of this bottle. A new way to make cosplay armor or decorate anything out of foam. This is awesome. We've seen great results with the expanded polystyrene. This stuff is the extruded polystyrene. It's not quite the same texture, a little more dense, makes a more obnoxious sound with gloved hands on it. You can stop that. Yeah, we can be done with that. We're gonna try moving on to our next application method, the paint roller. What I'm not so sure about though is what this paint roller is made out of. So this may work or it may just melt the moment it touches it. We're gonna find out. It's really not rolling very well anymore. It's spreading. Wow. Well, whatever this paint roller is made out of, it is very resistant to this stuff. Let's try an actual clean roll. This isn't a very good paint roller. So the interesting thing is the acetones evaporated so fast that this is almost solid again. Like it's squishy, but it's not sticking to my fingertips. a little easier on this stuff. The acetone is absolutely eating away at the expanded polystyrene more so than the extruded polystyrene. So that's kind of interesting. I want to do a side by side. Okay, we are going to time how long it takes to melt eight feet of polystyrene. See which one goes faster and how long <laughs> each one takes. First, establish the rules. We cannot push our pieces down. We are simply here to steady them. On your mark, get set, go. Well, mine's just chasing yours. I'm holding it as upright as this piece wants to go. It's just sort of floating. I mean, I knew yours was gonna go much faster. It's just... I'm yours just, just has like a structural in integrity. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you had like a two foot lead on me already. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this was a fun game. All right, I am <laughs> just past two and a half feet and yours is gone. Very gone. At this point, your piece has actually started to change the color of our dyed acetone. Like it started out reddish, and now it's kind of got a bit of a purple tone to it. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's why it keeps breaking off. That's actually a really cool shape. And time. It's not gone yet. Still going. Three and a half minutes versus... 11 minutes, 55 seconds. So close. We could still melt a whole lot of other stuff in this. Shall we? We shall. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top is gonna take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box is gonna show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit this bomb to get in the club so you never miss out on a cool video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.